experts for match analysis on Soccer Zone, Mondays at 10, only on SABC1. week of football when it comes to the uh, APSA Premiership. Welcome to Soccer Zone. I'm uh, Thomas Mlambo and yeah, Kaiser Chiefs still sit on top of the table despite the loss that will come under the microscope. What else have we got on the show for you? Well, we've got representatives from both Mummy Lodi Sundowns and Kaiser Chiefs coming in to talk about the Shell Helix Ultra Cup. It's going to be live right here on SABC, so make sure you find out more about how you can watch it and be at the stadium for that. But before we even get to that, this is what's on the show tonight. The Women's League gave us the goals that are memorable and the performances. Then, when we look at the referees, they pointed to the spot on so many occasions in different games. The strikers were on form. Hrobla, Kabuza, as well as Mabasa finding the back of the net. Rolani Mugrena getting his first win as a Orlando Pirates coach. That is what is happening as far as the show is concerned with Pomuzo Manenze as well as uh, Dr. Mnandi in Spiom Konza. However, let's now hear what the coaches had to say about the week that was. Credit to the players. Uh, not easy after a FIFA break. Not easy. In the second half, we knew they're going to throw caution to the wind. They're desperate for this win. We needed to keep it compact. We spoke about Mabaso playing with his back to goal, not getting in too tight on him. Don't let him turn you. That's exactly how they got their goal, you know. We lacked the, the required aggression to win the match. Listen, 1-1, one, one, taking a point each, spoils, let's share them. They had the second half, we had the first half. The second half belonged to Amazulu. And of course, maybe two penalties instead of one. This is big game. Uh, this is Kaiser Chiefs, not uh, Kaiser Chiefs uh, from before. Kaiser Chiefs now to who can make uh, high pressure, to can uh, make uh, middle pressure. You know, too much better team from before. We play good uh, first half, uh, but after after goal, we come back to 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 keep this uh, result. The possibility is enough to equalize or to make it happen in the second half, in particular. That's right, uh, but we, we haven't found the right keys, uh, left and right, and good, you have to be more calm, more composer. That was definitely missing in certain moments today. I'm happy that the, 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 we, we managed to get the win today, although we wanted to keep it, we wanted to get the clean sheet. I'm very confident we're on the right track again, seeing today what we can do. It's another step forward for me, although the result didn't show it. It was a game of uh, both, both halves for both teams. So exciting, like I said before the game. They will come on us and they will go on them. And I think they gave us a good run. I want to match uh, tempo, I want to match uh, solidarity. Uh, today, uh, no good, very no good. There you go. Some of those coaches were having their last words. We didn't know then, over the weekend, that they wouldn't be in the seats uh, of coaching those clubs by the time we got to Soccer Zone today. And that is what our topic is all about. So, let's look at what's uh, happening at Soccer Zone for sure. The topic, Clinton Larson and Kevin Johnson have been fired by their respective clubs. Who's likely to follow and why? Hashtag Guzo Hambabani. You guys have been busy with uh, uh, giving your perspectives on that. Let's see what the topic is being responded to. Ikama. And he says, Black Leopards coach will follow them. Leopards have good players, but coach is not doing any justice to the team. Then, uh, Mfazo Mfaza, 26, says, for me, Rulani McGuane is not safe yet. Maybe if he can win four back-to-back -back games, then he will be safe. Hashtag Guzo Hambobani. Keep giving us your interaction on that. Because Garabo GP says, Black Leopards coach is next after the team has signed so many quality players, yet he still can't get it right. And then, 
Well, even if you're top of the log, you're not safe because you see here, Ernst Middendorp comes up as next with hashtag Guzo Hambabani. Then you got Steve Barker, and I look further down the list, Rulani Mugwena, and I keep going, and it's more and more options there. So keep giving us your perspectives as far as Guzo Hambabani. I want to hear from the two men here in the studio around the coaches that have gone. Here are the latest when it comes to the news stories from earlier on in the day. With those coaches go, and it's Clinton Larson, who was the first. He you know Clinton Larson is the second longest running in the seat coach for Chipper. 22 games is the second longest. Dan Malisela had 39 games before he was asked to leave. Thomas, um, I want to say when Clinton Larson got there, they were facing the X. Mm. He saved them. Yeah. When you look at uh, Clinton Larson, he took them to the semi final of the Netbank Cup. So how do you fire him after five games? Nah, he the game. And they lost and they lost quality players that were not replaced. He ends the game. No, Thomas. Will you think they'll, they'll, re they'll regret this? Thomas, they were supposed yeah. to give you more time. Will Chipper regret getting rid of Clinton Larson? He kept the status. So why didn't you keep him? The other story. That's what Pumut is asking. Please answer it on hashtag Guzo Hamboban. Now, moving on to the other story as far as a coach departing. And that was the departure, which again really caught everyone by surprise because Kevin Johnson, gone. What do you think? Unbelievable, Thomas. I mean... If you look at the last season, I know people will say last season doesn't work. Mm. But a team that was the docked six points and they missed the top eight. Kept them alive. I mean, you tell me. But this season, lost three, two draws, only scored two goals this season. And they said, I, we've seen you enough. See, here's the challenge. When the team loses, it's not only one man. It's a combination of factors. And it's just that teams are not realistic. We need to improve on that aspect because I've always believed that some coaches don't get enough time to put everything that they want to put together. But I still think that if you look at the successful teams in the world, the coaches stays longer. So, there you go. The two gentlemen are very clear as to not really supporting the firing of the two coaches. And that's something that you can engage with us on as well. But now, I'm bringing up onto the show to have a conversation with me, the legends of the game when it comes to Alex Shokwani, the communications manager at Mamilodi Sundowns, Vina Maposa, the uh, communications manager at Kaiser Chiefs. Gentlemen, welcome to this conversation where we're talking about news stories. News doesn't get much bigger than the Shell Helix Ultra Cup. The 12th of October, FNB Stadium, your two teams are going to be meeting in that. Tell me, tell our fans, tell our viewers why they need to be there for this encounter. Thomas, thank you very much and good evening to the viewers uh -huh. and of course to Amakosi supporters. Uh, he will greet his own supporters. Oh, I won't don't do greet. For, no, no, I won't oh, do that. For okay. uh, but just getting to the point, we are coming here just to inform the viewers, the supporters, that we are ready for Shell Helix Ultra Cup uh -huh. that is happening on the 12th of October. It's FIFA break. And uh, obviously during that time, there's some element of drought of football and uh, we need to still continue. Remember, we are entertainers. We want to continue providing festivities and entertainment for the supporters. So that game is taking place on the 12th of October. It's Saturday. The kickoff is at 4 o'clock and the tickets are already flying off the shelf like hot you know, uh, cakes. And uh, <laughs> supporters look like they are looking forward to this mouth-watering encounter. I have to cut you off there because of Alex Ayakulu and Guni, me, Ameli Chansi Oguti, Naya Bingi. Yeah. Hey, Brailix, being a lela now because hey, but yeah, but being a lela, I'm a supporter. Okay, Masanda one. Uh. I'm here to assure you, it would come the day you're gonna see the masters of carpet football. Carpet football. Eh? We are known to be the masters of carpet football, and I'm happy that Vina has just said it. That this is for entertainment. We want bums on the seats. Yes. And we want to make sure that each and every supporter who comes there gets his money's worth. But there's also rivalry. Yes. There's a rivalry. Yes. Pretoria, Johannesburg. Yeah. So where to? Yeah. Mamilodi. Yeah. Ah. It's the battle of the two cities. It's the festival of talent on that day. And um, many would uh, say perhaps it's FIFA break. Some players will be at national teams. But these are teams that are smarting with talent. Over 30 players that are talented. Mm. Even if you take half of the team, you still remain with the best. No, no, no. no, Creme no. De la half Creme half of his players come from me. Uh. He, he knows for a fact that <laughs> half of his players come oh. from me. 
you know, and we, we Baba, treat him like Baba, a brother. But Bravina, Bravina, there's also a bit of revenge for you in the Shell Helix uh, Ultra Cup. Because of course, they won it We are the defending champions. Yeah, cool guy. And it was, guys. He knows it. It was, it was... Two nil yeah. yeah. But he won in a last minute uh, optional extra time or referee segati two. But you surprised me because just now you played a clip of a coach of uh, Polokwane City, yeah. Graham Potish, saying that this is not the Chiefs of last season. Ah. It's a different Chiefs. Oh. Uh, we brought in, uh, oh. we brought in oh. surprise oh. packages oh. of players. Can, can I say a little mm -hmm. bit about my coach? Yeah. Yes. You know, my coach is a genius. And they say, Genius people are crazy people because they see things that normal or ordinary people cannot see. Uh. So to master the system that we play at Sundowns, it's going to take a coach better than the coach that they have in. But so when you talk coaches, I talk about German excellence and precision. <laughs> so just watch on the day the kind of football that will be. Genius now. versus precision, tickets. Let's get our supporters there. Let's fill up the stadium. Let's get FNB buzzing during the FIFA window on the 12th of October because Shell Helix Ultra Cup will be showing it live on SABC Sport. But we also want that crowd, that atmosphere, sure. those two cities clashing. We, we, we promise good football. We are saying to the supporters, come in big numbers. Mm. Come one, come all. Come see the master set work. Where do yeah. I get my tickets? It's tried and tested affair. Uh, we played it last season. Fans responded and voted with their feet mm -hmm. and bumps on the seat. About close to 60,000 people ascended at FNB Stadium. Tickets are found at Computer Ticket. And as I said, they're already selling, you know, like, uh, I think, uh, new, new so, fashion in town. So who's going to win? Ah, why ask that question? Okay. It will be strange. <laughs> who's the champ? Okay. It, it will be strange in the South African history that there will be a trophy that will go engraved, uh, you know, with Kaiser Chiefs for two seasons in a row. Gentlemen, yeah. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Because, I'll leave him there. Yeah. I'll leave him there. I'll leave him where no you No trophy put him. can go two seasons without Kaiser Chiefs as well. Hey, the last time they lifted the trophy, it's about 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Shell Helix Ultra Cup is going to be super, super hot. And you've heard from the gentleman there. Get out there and get your tickets as well. So, all I need from you now is to check out this new deal from Debonair's Pizza. It's called On the Double Stacked. You can get your favorite On the Double Pizzas stacked. So, you get two large pizzas, double stacked each with a cream cheese filling and your choice of two flavors. Now, that's a mouthful. Debonair's Pizza, try something amazing. Now, let's move on and give you the Nandi moment of the week. Yeah! And here it is. What a goal here from Barroca out of their own defensive situation. Yeah. Makantai picks up the ball. Turning the defense into attack. Immediately, this speaks about the elements of dynamic of dynamics, hey! armor dynamics way, counter attack hey! Thomas. Explosive piece, speed, speed hey! pass out of transition, speed of support, hey! speed of movement. But again, I know the summer up everything. What a finish. Bracket, bracket everything. We can talk about by defending the Bainzan, but the finish, I will run. TD Sopaiki, what a finish that will be amongst the nominees for goal of the season when you take the build up into consideration and the finish. Ha, ah, the bold. Thomas, when you speak about uh, transition football, uh, counter-attack, yeah. is the speed of going forward, is the thinking going forward, <laughs> is the runs that are made going forward. But what makes it the goal of the week is he comes himself down. Mm. Especially when he gets to that finishing area, he comes himself down, looks up, the technique is there, in-step technique, the killer into the top corner, the goalkeeper had no chance. Utin, Nandi Arch. There you go. Nandi moment of the week. Siriso, Baiki, what a terrific finish there for you. Now, the rivalry is on. It's Amakosi versus Masandawana. Make sure you vote for your favorite team to unlock the full ad. And remember, there can only be one Shelix, Shelix, Shell Helix Ultra Cup. Now, all you need to do is get onto uh, uh, Shell South Africa's Facebook page and see how you can unlock your team's advert. Make sure that your team, either Sundowns or Kaiser Chiefs, has the longer version on their ad shown more on television. You can make that happen. Shell South Africa Facebook page. Get there. We'll be back after this. We are on my course. There can only be one. Two pizzas, 
says it was too late. We're cream cheese. Oh, I like cream cheese. Do you like cream cheese? I love cream cheese. And the cream cheese is in between the two layers. What? I know. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. I really love this look. So, I hope you like creamy chicken and pepperoni and olive. Mm. The new on the double stacked is a mouthful. Get it for only $199.90. Mm. Debonair's Pizza. Try something amazing. There are people in our community whose helping hands always brighten the day. Caring, selfless, and always there when you need them. Just like Grandpa's fast acting pain relief that you can always trust. It's ready to work in 10 seconds for backache, muscle ache, toothache, or headache. So that you can get through your day. Grandpa, trusted for over 100 years. This is Season 9 of Tropica Island of Treasure. Welcome to Curacao in the Caribbean. Buy Tropica and come find your smooth fame and fortune. Audition online now to compete with your favorite celeb and you can join us in paradise and stand a chance to win your share of a smooth 1 million rand. Grab a Tropica for details and see you in paradise. The more Tropica you buy, the more chances you have to win hundreds of thousands of prizes. Tropica, nothing smooth. Parenting is not easy. Some days, you've got to be tough mom. Other days, gentle mom. But when it comes to fever, you need to be both. Cowpole starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Cowpole, tough on fever, gentle on your child. SABC One brings you Verify. This is a sketch show, and I've got the best sketches. Ask you so we can tell you. That's it, man. So what are you doing at Jalami? It's the battle on who's the most funniest. The fight for the votes. It's the ultimate clash of the video clips. We can young boy make it top boy. Crazy audience, four rounds, eight clips, and two contenders. Shop better, shop better. Shop better. Watch as our online content creators get verified every Thursday at 7:30 p.m. Right here on SABC One, Zansi for sure. Soapies on one. When about what friends were in Niger, but who's who is this as I let us in Tinga Pans, Mamma Boba. Sex and Kunukuru, who's who was some Tinga Kubishama. Zimbabwe is this as I keep up. Get up to speed with your favorite soapy. Zimbabwe is this as I keep up. Catch Ozalo Omnibus Sundays at 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. on SABC One Mzanzi for sure. All right, the APSA Premiership had a great weekend. There was so much to uh, unpack in that. And after you've taken a look at the highlights, we'll introduce you to Orlando Pirates having a new keeper in for the first time. We'll look at the penalties. Were they? Should they have been given? The coaches, some of them feeling maybe not. That will come under scrutiny. Then what happens when there's two balls on the field? Should the game be stopped? Well, if you think you know, you may be wrong. We'll give you that insight. Take a look at the highlights. Bragging rights were at stake when Amazulu and Lamontville Golden Arrows battled each other in a Durban derby on Saturday afternoon. In the 10th minute of the match, Arrows hit Amazulu with a counter-attack, only for Lerato Lamola to send his effort over the crossbar. Arrows eventually found the opening goal after 36 minutes of play. Nduduzo Smia tucked home a penalty after Lerato Lamola was brought down in the box. Usutu also awarded a penalty of their own 11 minutes into the second half. Bongingo Sintuli, who was fouled in the box, stepped up and converted the equalizer, scoring his second league goal in the process. One all it ended, and Usutu are still waiting for their first win of the season. Orlando Pirates look to get back into winning ways when they hosted Chipper United at the Orlando Stadium on Saturday afternoon. The Soweto Giants have been on a three-match winless streak and look to turn a corner against the Chili Boys. The hosts dominated the match from the get-go and were eventually rewarded when they took the lead in the 55th minute. Augustine Mulenga won the ball back in the midfield before playing in Tehufato Mabasa, who calmly slotted in the goal. 
Mabasa then gave Pirates a two-goal lead five minutes later when he turned inside the box and fired a brilliant shot to complete his brace. In the 65th minute, Tembinkosi Lodge had an opportunity to register his name on the score sheet, but Patrick Tinyem pulled off a brilliant save. The visitors pulled a goal back in the 79th minute thanks to super sub Rulani Manzini. In the 82nd minute, the Pirates goalkeeper proved his worth with a brilliant save from a corner kick. The host held on for a win, handing coach Rulani Mukwena his first win as interim head coach. The Chiefs was itching to get back to action after a long three-week break. They are resumed their AFSA Premiership campaign with a clash against Bulugwani City at the FNB Stadium on Saturday night. On the 14th minute, Manyama had an opportunity to get his name onto the score sheet, but was denied by Cyril Chibwe. The host enjoyed most of the possession early on, but were dealt a blow when Ras and Shan were awarded a penalty after just 15 minutes. Daniel Agpe brought down Shelton Mashumba in the box and Jablani Maluleke stepped up and calmly slotted home for the lead. The Glamour Boys were on full attack in the dying stages but were denied as Rise and Shine held on for the big win. The City Lads are oh, one of those uh, clubs that really can upset the apple cart. And when you put uh, teams like Kaiser Chiefs, Mamelodi Sundown, he has a chance and one! Beauty, Jamie Weber at the right. It's Mbule. Here is Romeo Kermit Erasmus. Kermit Erasmus. Honey, a chance for Rolani. It's Cape Town City. Or oh, is it Rolani? It's not Dada. He really responds very quickly. He's Tabo Nodada. Golden arrows and the Aza. Wow, super sport. It's a Kanda Kanda Tamsanga Kabuza. Ide almost identical to the one Tabano Dada scored. The battle lines were drawn as Black Leopards and Baroque FC faced each other at the Toyando Stadium yesterday afternoon. And after a dry opening quarter, the game finally came to light in the 32nd minute thanks to a goalkeeping error. Jonas Mendes failed to pick up a corner kick at the near post, allowing Fanafuti Shosi to tap home from point blank range. 41st minutes later, Lido Daduba's Mwape Musonda was on song with a shot straight to Chipazaza's hands. Bakaka doubled their tally in the 67th minute following a clever two-man counter. Tidiso Baiki collected Collins and Bakaka's pass to call into the back of the net. Bakaka held on to their lead and bagged all points to go into sixth position. Fontaine Celtic were looking to break a three-match winless streak when they hosted Salambosh FC at the Dr. Petrus Mulimela Stadium yesterday afternoon. After a quiet opening to the game, Wasim Isaacs gave Stellies the lead in the 33rd minute. Isaac struck a low shot straight at Jackson Mabohwane, but the keeper let the ball slip between his legs and into the net. 
the host came out with renewed vigor in the second half and quickly leveled matters as Ramasimo Muluisani caught Mark van Herden to nod home at the far post. Sipelele Lutuli then made it 2-1 when he struck a sweet volley from the edge of the area, slamming past the boy De Jong. The victory moves the Celtics up to ninth on the log standings, while Stelis remain in 15th place, having yet to win a game this season. All right, so let's talk about it. These are the results that happened. And when we look at what some of the changes were made, well, if you go to the Pirates game, three changes there. Dele came in, Lorch coming back into the lineup for him, Makarenge putting on a performance that made him man of the match. So uh, that will make uh, coach Rulani Mukwena very happy that the changes and the approach came up with the result for Pirates. I think the win changes everything for him. Also, the confidence, which is critical. He's been speaking about players, lack of confidence, especially if you don't get, not getting results. So I think this win has done wonders for him. There's the bottom of the table. You guys were saying, nah, here, yeah, yeah, Kevin Johnson here. Yeah. But team is bottom of the log. And they did ask him to leave today. Uh, we don't understand if he asked to leave or uh, amicable. Uh, Thomas was not sure, but he has left. Uh, I was complaining about Larson leaving mm. because of what he did last season and also taking them to the semi-final. Marvel Larson's team, E. Chipa, is also on this second half of the page as well. 13th position, only three points from five games. Chipampanga is seeing the writing on the wall. He doesn't want to mean yeah, the, the other whole teams, season. The other teams with two I, points I, I, there. That is why I said, it team mag, mag Vaisu Mundi Thomas. It's not a one, one way thing that you say, Vaisu Thomas, let's look at the combination. I look at the Chip on Saturday, I don't think they really played well. Then, Mwenya Chibwe, man of the match for Polukwani City. Look at Polukwani City. Now, last season they were surprise packages. Yeah. Are we still surprised? I mean, do we still need to be surprised? Look at the goals that are conceded there. Goals against. Only one in five games. Polokwane City, Iya, Kia, and their goalkeeper is instrumental. No, instrumental. We're going to talk about him later in the show. But they've got an instrumental and influential midfielder in Jabuma Luleke mm. leading that team week in, week out. So really, uh, looking at the best defence also in the league so far, Thomas. All right, so let's get to some of the moments that we need to talk about. The things that were interesting over the weekend. Starting out with the Orlando Pirates bringing in their goalkeeper, Joris Dell. There he is, Dele in goal. Debut for the 29-year-old. He didn't get a clean sheet, but how did he do? I'm, I'm happy with his performance, Thomas. Uh, yeah. Firstly, he's very comfortable uh, uh, in terms of handling. Mm -hmm. you, you look at uh, when the ball, he needs to play from the back. He brings that aspect to Orlando Pirates because he's comfortable on the ball so he can play from the back. You look at the positioning, uh, Thomas, look, 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 at, look at that save. He's Joris saving Dele. the ball ah, to the side. He's yeah. talking about the... the comfortable. The he's, he's comfortable. He's, com he's not bringing it back to play. I'm not sure I'm comfortable. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh. nice assistant again. Yeah, but I'm not sure. Nice assistant again. Hey, that's why the chipper didn't play well. He's the only shot the chipper didn't Rulani stay. Manzini with a stina. Joris Dele. Yeah. But now, corner. Technique goalkeeper. You don't bring the ball back into play. Push it to the side. Okay, so to make up for it, when the score could have become 2 2, Joris Dele comes up with a big Look save there. Look at that. That's France under 20 international player. Played for Mets. Played for Nice. Played for Lance. Played for Feyenoord. Plays for Orlando Pirates. And then? Okay. Anyway, Thomas, you Thomas. Ah, Thomas, Thomas. 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 I need to say this. Yes. The, the Orlando Pirates way of playing <laughs> is, is, is building from the back. And mm. they need a goalkeeper that is very comfortable. Modern football. You look at uh, uh, Pep Gladiola. He selects his keeper because he's comfortable. He mm. speaks to the game model. And Dele speaks to the game model of Orlando Pirates. Let's he watch. starts play from the back. Let's watch. Because we're going to talk about Mabasa. And you'll see where Dele actually is involved in starting uh, the th action from the back for uh, Kaiser Chiefs here. Here's Mabasa. Tejo Fazo. New signing, big man from Celtic, early on in the game. This was the first time he got to start for Orlando Pirates. He yeah. played 26 minutes against Amazulu, 20 minutes against Golden Arrows. Rulani Mukwena says, I'm throwing you in from the beginning. And immediately, there was danger. I, I hope he will keep the form, Thomas. It's very critical for Pirates to have a number nine that finishes because they create, but they need a terminator, mm. which he brings. And I'm hoping he's going to keep this form. He gives them a vertical depth. He gives, he's a logical number nine. I'm a running, but look at look at the runs that he makes. And this situation, you can't ask for more for a finisher. Okay, but, but he yeah. scores here, and then I know there's a bat coming. Yeah, there's a bat. So we're going to slow the action down here, because Mkwanza, <coughs> hey, 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 
He doesn't just see nice things. Mabasa scores. Mm. Mulenga steals the ball here. Mulenga is on the run. And then you want to talk about when the ball is played. So let's get to when the ball is played. There. It's leaving the boot. What are you saying? Offside. Offside? Yeah, but I don't want to steal his, no way. his quality finish. No way. No way, Thomas. Yeah, if, no if it's not clear, and offside, Thomas, you give advantage to the attacking team. If the assistant yes. is not sure... And this one is super tight. The assistant's in a good position. Thomas, he's not sure, 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 Thomas, sure say, say, it again. say it again. If he's in, not sure that the player no, no, is he's offside, in a good position, he's in a good, but he's not sure. Then I know the rule says benefit to the attacking team. Thomas, um, konza, um, konza bang and any rule is calling. La? One centimeter, lapa. Yeah, one centimeter, you give advantage. So, oh, a millimeter. Oh, even one a millimeter. You give yeah, advantage yeah, to yeah, the attacking team. They say negative VAR in general. So, I'm a game opener zero zero. We need to highlight the, the quality turn. that Mabasa what? brings. With his, with his back to goal, Thomas, look at the uh, Burundi international. He's able to turn a Burundi international. Oh, uses his physicality well, holds the ball up with his back to goal to be able to turn the defender and have the shot at goal. Well taken uh, goal there. Mm. Great performance by the young man. Okay, let's look at uh, the uh, potential for offside from this situation here. Now, first of all, that's a silly free kick to give away from yeah. Golam Lam. I think if you look at it, body language also says good. he's just going through emotions in that situation. Fair Turning guy. his back Fair against, against it, he's killer. You don't have to give a foul. Delay a man, guide him out of the danger zone. But Mamela, he's cool police. Scrupulous. There it is. Lerato, Ma off, Lerato Manzini scoring. Now we just want to go through it, just mm -hmm. check. Mm -hmm. Was there any offside in here? This is a teachable moment as well. We can really get some good there coaching is, points from here. There, there's no offside because uh, when we show it on us, when, when, the, so ball, when the ball is about to no, be hit to here, let's Thomas stop when, when the, the ball, ball is, is kicked. Touched, right? there. Look at the blue shirts. There's no blue shirt that is ahead of the white shirts. So it means everybody's on side. And when we roll it, after Dele makes the save, right. we need to look at... Is there somebody in an offside Comes back position? From Dele, that's fine, it's no problem. Fine. Now, here, from the goalkeeper. when the touch is made here, Lerato Manzini is in an onside position. No offside again. There is no offside. The man that is going to make the last touch for yeah. Chipa United is in an onside position, which is Lerato Manzini. Legitimate goal. Clear. Clear. Simple. Goal. Everyone in blue stayed onside. Great decision, perfect goal, nothing to talk about here. But here's another controversial moment that we want to talk about here. Yellow card that goes to uh, Teminkosi Lodge for essentially time-wasting. So let's say, take a look and see here. The score is 2-1, Pirates are leading, but Ichipai Figil. Then Monyani wins the corner here. Once he wins the corner, no one from Orlando Pirates wants to go and take the corner. The ball gets kicked by goalkeeper Tigniev, he says... Okay, somebody take the corner, nobody moves. Yeah. Thomas, nobody goes there. Thomas, from this situation, Umundo Shama corner, we are zero. And I can tell you. Bega, Ipolali won. Nobody from yes. Orlando Pirates is going. What's the referee saying here? Ure, Ruti, Hamusha corner and Jovu, Ugabutae, Iko Ningu, you to blame a corner. Okay. Ukomba, Ulodge. So watch the ref now. Now, Lodge, because look at the time. The ref says, says of the game, Ulodge, you can't tell. Ref Ulodge. takes out the yellow card. I go to funny Ushai corner. The ref is waiting now. Yeah, Whoever we... goes to get take this Vela corner, Vela Lab. then oh, Lodge says, Vela. outing here first. Magatia first, yellow. The referee is applying the law that says uh, delaying the restart of the game. Mm. So in this instance, he says to Tunjovu, go take the, the, the corner kick. Mm. But he says, I've just made a 40-meter run. I'm not taking the, the, the corner kick. Somebody in the box is going to take. Mm. So the referee says, whoever is delaying Ooh, the restart. Because the whole team whoever, was delaying yes, at that stage. Anybody, anybody. It, it did not have to be Lodge. Yeah. Anybody that was going to go Ozo and get... Ozo Oyanji. Ozo Oyanji. Ozo Oyanji. Ozo Oyanji. Ozo Oyanji. Ozo Because he's delaying the restart of the game. Ozo Oyanji. Ozo Oyanji. No more one. Ozo Oyanji. No more one. Because you knew when the ball went out, but finally we were at the corner. No, the reason also Lodge, I told you, yellow card. No, he no. said Konumunto no. tired. Ganja, how possible is that? Somebody, not me. Ulov can kick the ball, but he felt good. He the specialist said to some st standard situation, Ulov, now ah, But now you know, you cannot delay the restart of the game. Even though Pirates tried there for the whole team to say, nobody. The ref just waited until somebody went and said, mm. let's move on to uh, Arrows and Amazulu. Now, here are two penalties given away. <coughs> Lamula goes down. He penalty left. It's, it's, it's what we call a feather duster touch, Thomas. 
There is a touch, but ile e father le nani le. There is a touch. Ah, uh, we'll, we'll freeze it when the touch up. The ball. He clips his heel. No, the ball. He clips his Aye. heel, Thomas. That's yes. Aye. The touch is going to happen here. Here, Thomas. There. There is the touch that brings Lamola down. No, I don't see it there. As obvious as you saying. No, it's there. feather does the touch, but, but it did just, touch him. No, no. I think Lamola knew. The defender That's will experience. Try to, he experienced it. It's he like, knew that a defender would be desperate to make a ticket. Uh, it's not experience, a touch. There is Le? a touch. Yeah, there is a touch. Ah, no, defense of There is a touch. Yeah. 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 There is a touch. Defender, you foul him. Yeah? He's trying to get a pump walk. Yeah. So, it's like experience. Yeah, no, that was experience. Cash. I, I agree with that. Experience, not necessarily a foul mm. that needed to the player to go down, but he does, and the referee says, points to the spot. Here's another one. Nduli gets into the box here. Here's the ball played in. Nduli is the man who, uh, from Mobeni's uh, ball, gets brought down. What do you think? There is a penalty, uh, Thomas. <coughs> there is a touch on Nduli, but he, he makes a meal of it because uh, uh, look at no, he, no look, penalty, look at the uh, look at the left left leg. Thomas. Lay penalty. Good first touch. He yeah. controls here, yeah? yeah. but when he turns, put your eye on the left foot. Yakan Nduli. Is the left foot is not going to be touched. Yes, there is contact on the right foot, but look, the contact is there. But look okay. at the left foot. Yeah, but no, but look at the left foot. Uh, why am I looking look, at, look at the other left foot? Uh, oh, why are jump? I'm tired. I'm going to go left. No, there is a touch on the right. If the feather duster one is a yeah. penalty, then this one is the most clear yes. textbook. Again, I'm going to jump. No, no, no. But there is a touch. But the left stands up. Good penalty as well. Very cheeky. But last thing you had in the park, why is that in Zagaso? Okay, then let's move on because we've got Chibwe. Now, here's a man who cut out a great performance against uh, Kaiser Chiefs. The uh, keeper of Bulugwani City was absolutely sensational in the game. Take a look at the saves that he makes. Take a look at how also Kaiser Chiefs could have got back into this match and created enough opportunities to at least get something out of the game. But, but, but what's critical about Chibwe, Thomas? Bulugwani City, you just said they've considered only one goal. In five in five games, and it tells you, Guti, you can't just not concede when you are one goalkeeper. Nandi, the very good goalkeeper, he come from Tomo Cosmos, good organizer, this is distribution quality, dealing with crosses, high balls, and short stopping. Um, and Chibwe has played only in the last two games in the Absa Premiership. In those last two games, two clean sheets. Yes. Nil nil against Chipa, one nil against Kaiser Chiefs. Obviously, Thomas, it speaks to, to his positioning. He's a great communicator with his defense. And th there's, nothing yeah. like, there's nothing like having a keeper where you know you are beaten as a defender, but you have all the confidence to say the keeper is going to make the save. Mm. Look, at the, look at this free kick, Thomas. Yeah. He's get blocked by the wall, but Man. they know that when Maluleke unleashes here, this was, this was a goal written all over mm, it. But, look, but the key here, Thomas, is the quick fit movement and, and the reflex save. I that was quality. And the quality. Look at the hand that he goes with. He goes with the hand that the coaches say go Ex with. It's a, it's a, it's a, go it's across a your body. The technique called keeper, which extends the body if you go with an opposite hand. Then Billiard coming. Again, Chibwe making sure. Late in the game. Mm. What a performance. Deserve it of man of the match. Keeps the clean sheet. Takes the three points. Uh, Bulaguana City moving up to second on the log table here. Let's hear what Ernst Midendorp had to say because there were a couple of penalty shouts in this game. One of them was given, the other one not given. After the match, coach Ernst Minendorp was asked his opinion on the two penalties. We'll hear from him and then we'll clear, clarify whether they were or weren't penalties in the game. Take a look. The, the penalty uh, against us, uh, I would like to see it again. Uh, first of all, I, as I said, I will repeat it. I don't believe it was a penalty. Secondly, the last uh, minute uh, for me, clear. Uh, if you go in uh, against karma before, if you jump into this body, uh, when do you want to give him a penalty? Uh, in the last minute, then with Stamia, where a goalkeeper rushed into, when do you want to give a penalty in this moment? But um, good, the decision is done by the, by the referees. We have to accept it. Uh, that's how it is. Ernst Minendorp's first reaction was the penalty given against Kaiser Chiefs, not a penalty. So let's check a look and see if that's the case or not. Ball is played in here and Akpe. Clear penalty. Ganjan. Clear penalty. Ganjan. Thomas, let me, let me explain this, Thomas. Before you do that, let's just go back here because Mkwanza, you saw something. Yes. When Akpe goes for the ball here, yeah. what do you see? He gets a touch on the ball. He touches the ball. Let's yes. look. You touch it, let's see. Blind. No, he, he does put a little touch on the yes. ball. Yes. You see the ball even change direction. Little yeah. touch, Akpe does touch the ball. So and what he, are you saying? He cannot stop himself in moment, in moment. So you're saying the hand touches the ball, so... The hand touches the ball. He's played the ball. He played the ball first. 
So how do you give a penalty now? There's the Thomas. touch. Thomas, here, here is my opinion on this. Uh, the goalkeeper, Akbe, touches the ball. Yes. Does he touch the man? Absolutely. Does he prevent he him from... He started with what? No, no, no. Let me explain. Okay. Akbe touches the ball. Yes. Yes, we agree with that one. Does he hold uh, uh, Mashumba and bring him down? Yes. Does he prevent Ma Mashumba from getting to the ball? Mm. The answer is yes. So it's a foul, it's a penalty. And him touching the ball qualifies with... No, it does he not qualify. Let, he let, let, wait, no, 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 wait, no, no, think no, no. it. One at a time, think it. Him touching the ball. Yes. The intention here was to play the ball. He that is why he touched the ball. Yeah. Because if he wanted to go for Mashumba... But, he was Thomas, if the referees... It doesn't and, qualify him to foul him because he has touched the ball. That then, one is not right. But I'm saying... Okay, he, that one let's leave. The rule is clear. It's a penalty. It's a penalty. That one and is I, a penalty. I agree because... It I prevents heard, him from getting to the ball. Then, Chibwe here comes flying out. Nurkovic says penalty. Ernst Miedendorp in his comment felt this should have been given. What do you say? Nokovic should have been booked for diving. Simulation. Simulation. Let's take a look. Here comes Nurkovic. Here comes Chibwe. Is there contact? Where is the contact? Where is the contact? Ah. Into the swimming pool. Yo. Simulation. Into the swimming pool. Simulation. Yellow card. Sima. Ah, lay lula nam ngai ka ngu revi. Lula. Lay a leu kala le. Ah, admin ngai ngai. All right. And then let's uh, move on and have a quick conversation about Nodada because he was the man of the match in this game and the man that we need to focus in on. When Nodada last played football in February, he comes back for Benny McCarthy in this game and then he gets a brace. Nine months out, Thomas. I think what separates him from everybody else is speed of, the, speed of thought. I think Nodada, unbelievable in terms of playing, play, breaking the lines, game intelligence, function and very functional and effective. Especially if you want him to break the lines. Benny was even raving about him. It's never something different in terms of combination play to break the lines. And also, there's no better feeling for any midfielder when he scores. What, what I like about Utabo not that the other thing is he reads the game so well. When you look at the first goal, Kemet moves wide to create the space, but he's able to find that, that space. In this instance, look at Tabo Notada. Krobla does not go all out mm. to, to get the ball. He's, he's thrown onto the tackle that is uh, Notada, but the composure and the mm. technique in terms mm. of that two seconds to pick up his head and then bring in that killer, a brace in this game, nine months out, Thomas, it shows strong uh, mental strength because it's not only about uh, the physicality, but now, mental strength. Let's look at one other thing that a lot of people would have missed. This is interesting. Gabuza gets a great goal, but let's look and see. Here's a rule issue. Two balls end up on the field. You see the other ball there? Gabuza turns, scores. What's the situation in this, sir? Uh, and we'll look at it in slow motion here and slow it down for you. Yeah. When two balls come out onto the field, here, the ball boy throws. Let's stop here. The Just key, stop here. There's two balls on the field. The key is the other ball is not interfering with play. Yeah. So because the other ball is not interfering with play, you play on. Mm. And you can see that Dove is pointing at the other ball that is not uh, be, being played. <coughs> so you're supposed to play. It's okay. It's okay for balls to be on the pitch as long as they're not interfering with play. You'll only stop the game if it's interfering with play. Because I agree. Because otherwise, you would just tell all the ball boys to throw all the balls on the field and the game would always be stopped. You'd create delays. Mm. So that's why. Doesn't matter if there's balls on the field. As long as it's not interfering, we play on. And Gabuza capitalizes on that. The Shell, Helix, Ultra Cup, there can only be one. Remember to stand firm behind your team. Keep voting to make sure that your team takes the final spot. Tune in next week to find out if is Gamake Pula or Ama Sandawana full TV ad will be revealed. We'll be back after the break and we'll take you to the uh, Glad Africa Championship as well as the Safa National Women's League action. We are dance. There can only be one. Say, when jazz ne pata pata hit dance floors in the 50s, Isminov was there, being enjoyed neat over rocks. And when 90s freedom arrived to Equito soundtrack, our Sminov Nicola joined the celebration. To today, where the moves are bold and I sure the Guara Guara brings its flavor, and we bring our Sminov Nekrenberry. For then, for now, for whatever's next, Sminov. All right.
zero to a hundred like a supercar. It's only got them good times, nothing wrong with that good life. Just believe this is our time. 'Cause I don't have no diamonds, but I shine bright. Yeah. Oh! What, ladies and gentlemen? Suffering from back pain? Apply Voltaren Emil Gel. Unlike heat rubs that work on the skin surface, Voltaren Emil Gel is a clinically proven anti-inflammatory medicine which penetrates through the skin. It relieves pain, treats inflammation, and speeds healing. Voltaren Emil Gel, the world's number one medicated gel. The SABC to me means the place that we get to tell stories, to bring to life the biggest stars, to give you access to the world. The viewer deserves the absolute best product that I can give them. Every day I go to bed and wake up in the morning wanting to present the best sport we are able to present to them. Without TV licenses, the dream of youngsters who want to be like me would not be possible. Many people with sensitivity have a gum problem they're not aware of, and that concerns me. I oftentimes see both problems going hand in hand. They have a short, sharp sensation when they're eating, drinking, and gum problems definitely don't solve themselves. They need to address both issues. I would definitely be recommending the new Sensodyne Sensitivity and Gum. It helps reduce sensitivity and it will improve their gum health. It's great to have a dual action toothpaste like this because it's addressing two big issues that come into my surgery every day in one product. The kids of today, they all want more. They want to be more. For them, more isn't just a word. More is what they do. We want the kids of today to never stop doing more, to reach their great. That's why we've improved Kellogg's, giving kids more vitamins and minerals to help keep them active and alert. Kellogg's, nourish your great. It is the battle of the universities. TUT have won two matches in a row. They came from a 2 0 down in a two matches. They played against Touch Academy, where they went on to win by four goals to two. I guess we're going to get two of them. TUT. Penalty. It's a penalty. Come on, I put a senator. Stunning cake. penalty <laughs> Nicole! Eh, come on, put up Senator! Ball played short into the penalty area. Ball coming in! Into the back of the net! And it is Amanda Mtandi who finds the back of the net! I guess one, Nangu Hilda! Hilda! Eh, come on, put up Senator! Looking at matches between a Cold City Wizards up against Richmond Ladies FC, you can see the beauty of Swane. Ah, this is the province of champions. Gauteng can talk about the likes of Mamedi Sundowns, TUT. They have done very well as far as uh, the Sassol uh, National League is concerned. Can't see now penalty area, and that's a penalty. That is a penalty caught just before Shkan Elisa Cracker and going to the ground. Not all of Trina against them for Tefo. Not all of Trina put it into the back of the net. Not all of Trina makes it 1 0. There's the celebration. You know, Bolela played the Bukatis <laughs> also this top of the Soro Nakatis. I don't want to go to the Soro Nakatis. I don't want to go to the Soro Nakatis. I'm not surprised when I got to the home team. 
Long one forward, near side of a field. Here they come now, Paul Kevin. Chancine. They run the mistake and then into the back of the net. They've scored two goals using the root one. Great clinical finishing there. This is what the log looks like in the South National Women's League. Right at the bottom, Durban ladies. Uh, the University of Johannesburg in that derby against uh, TUT. Well, they hung on until the 89th minute, but then it was TUT coming up with a big strike there. And it was their star player, Hilda Machaya, who uh, got the brace and snatched all of the points. Sundowns uh, went into their game on Sunday knowing that they needed a victory to go to the top of the table after TUT took that position. And they did it in style. Those the two teams to chase TUT, Mami Lodi Sundowns, Safa, Women's National League action, and we bring it to you live on SABC Sports. So make sure you're with us for that. But it's time for a quick break. After the break, we've got Glad Africa Championship as well as the Mumish of the Week. So stay with Soccer Zone. <laughs> Ultimate protection when you move. Shield, it won't let you down. I give his back, baby! <laughs> wow! Amazing. But wait, there's more. I am Pelelang of Alpha Babe. Yo! Wow! Your career cannot die before it starts and you are naked. Then you come back dressed like that. I was not ready. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Ulum Gagawe, now we're bringing it to you hot and steamy. As for the one on city. What's on first? What can we say is Zika? Yes, what you? Beautiful. We spill all the tea and throw some shade on RGB. Saturdays at 7 30, only on SABC One. Mzansi, for show. It was an action-packed return to the Glad Africa Championship following the international break. Chama Cosmos looked to break their winless streak when they hosted the Real Kings at the Dobsonville Stadium. The Real Kings grabbed the lead after just 10 minutes thanks to a beautiful strike by Levi. Edward Mangale then doubled the lead, giving his side a comfortable two-goal cushion. A late strike by substitute Sikailom Keys approved just a consolation for Cosmos. They lost for the first time in four games following previous draws away to Tia's Galaxy, Chaku Machamatsi Vandila and University of Pretoria. Out at the Princess Magogo Stadium, supporters were treated to an action-packed match as Utongati FC demolished Stienberg United by five goals to one. The victory moved Utongati to fifth on the standings with six points, having only played two matches in their campaign. Stienberg moved down to 12th spot with just only three points. Elsewhere, the Royal Eagles, meanwhile, dropped to the bottom of the table following their loss to Morocco Solos in a dramatic five-goal threat. A loan by Debo Hosodi and a brace by Kahiso Malinga handed Solos a 3-2 victory over the visitors. The victory moved Solos to 10th on the log. In other results, JDR Stars climbed to the top of the standings following their 3-1 win over Mbela United at the Giant Stadium in Soshangube. So this is what it looks like over the weekend. Otongaiti, after... Last week, Ajax, this week at home, big hiding against Stienberg there. They've got something against the Cape Town teams. They got it right. I think if we beat the team away, going after that means we are good enough. But they, I also believe that they're very strong at home. Zeka Marx is the man in charge of Morocco Swallows. Vuyo Mere is a new signing at the club coming on board last week. And you see already, victory. 
Yeah, you can see they lack a little bit of experience in their, in their squad. Vuyomiri brings that. Uh, he's also a, a great leader on the pitch, so you can see the experience. Prajay, with the Cosmos, they lose at home there. Yeah, we're not talking about Prajay. And it's Funa Buyu Prajay. Because he brings competitiveness. And it's, it's, it's very worrying. With, things are not shaping up for him. But, I mean, when you talk about that, no wins yet this season for Cosmos. Three draws, one defeat. Also, uh, you'll see Royal Eagles, they are behind with two, with two games because uh, there was the issue of the, of the club there mm. uh, and they delayed the, the two games. So don't be surprised, they are only on two and or only on one point. Free State Stars, Nayo Aigawini this season. Lots of uh, questions about who will come in maybe mm. to uh, replace the coaching staff there and try and bring them up. Now it says it all, but Google trade Africa is very, is very difficult because you'd expect them of Free State Stars to just come back and Ajax, Cosmos, all those teams that have been PSL. But it tells you we have few. Tough at the top as well, but this is one league that you're absolutely sure of. The Glad Africa Championship, the early stages don't really give you an indication of what it's going to look like at the end. But JDR Stars, nonetheless, are leading the pack with uh, that superior goal difference and sit on top of the table. We'll keep an eye on them for the remainder of the season. After the break... Oh... There's a player who may not be getting a phone call to come back in a hurry to his former club, Orlando Pirates. Because this week, well, let me show the week. Stay with us to find out who that is. What is it? people with sensitivity have a gun problem they're not aware of and that concerns me. I oftentimes see both problems going hand in hand. They have a short sharp sensation when they're eating, drinking and gun problems definitely don't solve themselves. They need to address both issues. I would definitely be recommending the new Sensorline Sensitivity and Gun. It helps reduce sensitivity and it will improve their gun health. It's great to have a dual action toothpaste like this because it's addressing two big issues that come into my surgery every day in one product. Parenting is not easy. Some days, you've got to be tough mom. Other days, gentle mom. But when it comes to fever, you need to be both. Calpol starts to work on fever in 15 minutes and is gentle on the tummy. Calpol, tough on fever, gentle on your child. When it's game time, we all feel the pressure. That's why we trust Shield Antiperspirant to never let us down. It gives us the best 48-hour protection when the pressure is on. Shield gives us the confidence to always perform at our best. Shield, it won't let Chelsea down, it won't let you down. Introducing new Invisible Black Plus White Fresh and new Invisible Black Plus White Germ Defense for men. what's coming up. Bulukwane City Super Sport United, that's a battle of two of the form sides and that's on Saturday right here on SABC Sport. Make sure you're with us. Sure, Bulukwane City Yashisa man. And the Super Sport night Yashisa. I'm, I'm looking forward to watching Bradley Frobler. He has got five in five. Is he going to continue with that form? But I would say advantage, well not really because both teams are actually involved in the MTN8 yeah. Yeah. midweek. Yeah. So They've got that midweek game, then the big game for three points in the APSA Premiership. Mm. I've watched the last game against Kesa Chiefs. Mm. All right, so just very quickly, Otingo, Jackson, Mangenal, through the gate. Okay, obviously he knows the situation itself, but what's critical for a goalkeeper or for a defender after Can you bounce back from this? 
Oh, yeah, it's Lungis. Oh, yeah, it's Lungis. Hmm? It has happened to the best in the world, De Gea, and he came back strongly. So Jackson can come back strong. It happens. Jonas De Liga means. Okay. That's it. Just winding up, uh, Dr. Vnindi, I'm Charles of Lama. This has been at Soccer Zone for sure. Thanks for being with us. Uh, make sure you're with us again over the weekend and on Sport at 10 because uh, on Sport at 10 on Wednesday night, brilliant cruise wire. Should be good.